Yeah! Who we got on the phone? Dude, are you driving? Um, I'm not driving, no. I'm just I'm just sitting in the back of a cab. <laughs> thank, God, thank God for that. I was about to hit you with that would the health. That would be pretty bad form. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to hit you with the health and safety. What's up, Dan from Bastille? How are you? I'm good. How are you, Zane? You all right? I'm doing really good, man. It's nice to see you. Nice to speak with you. You're live around the world right now on Beats 1 in the back of a black cab and what looks like a relatively rainy London afternoon. Is that it fair is, to say? It is. It couldn't, couldn't be more of a cliche to start by London. Rainy, grey, beautiful, perfect day, yeah. <laughs> you, you look well. You look happy. You have that, that sense of relief on your face of someone who's finally released more new music and you've let it go. Yes, I know, yeah. We've finally announced our album. We have two songs out. Um, yeah, it's exciting, man. I, I ran the London Marathon on Sunday, so I'm just basically happy that I never have to run again. Oh, my God. Uh, Can we get a polite round of applause for Dan from Bastille for running the London Marathon? <laughs> that is serious. Uh, uh, yeah, it was seriously long and boring, but it's over. <laughs> I hate running. I really hate it. About 25 oh, minutes in, it's the worst. Me too, me too, me too. And it was three, three hours of it, jeez. Uh, but it's over, and we, we, we raised a load of money. Anyway, yeah, I've got new music out. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, it's all about to kick off again, hopefully. Well, we're going to play it right now, come back and continue to catch up with you. Are you all right keeping the line alive right there in the back of a black cab right now? We play this brand new song so we can catch up with you after us. Nice one, in a bit. All right, man, stay put. The album is called Doom Days, June 14th. The first song right now we're going to play. There's two songs out, but this is the latest one right here. Today's world record is called Joy. Best deal of back. Makes no sense. It's happening right now. What started out as lying on the kitchen floor has ended up in a state of absolute joy. Even though the album is called <laughs> Doom Days, I'm very confused. Are you happy? Are you sad? Where, 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 what are you talking about on this, Dan? Oh, mate, this is the last song on the album, and it's about waking up in the morning and freaking out and all the all the anxieties of life and the world come crashing back in but then you get a, a, a call or like a small gesture from somebody that mm. can turn it all around and it's about that little that little ray of hope uh, the album is, pr is pretty dark and it's uh yeah, the other track we released last last week, Doom Days, is basically a, a rolling list of everything that's wrong um, and and messed up with with modern life, um, and it's a bit kind of angsty and it's it's pretty full on. And this is this kind of this song is like the happy ending at the end of this journey. That the album is set over the course of a night out. It's uh, kind of like an apocalyptic party album, and it's. Uh, it's set during the apocalypse and it takes you through chronologically from quarter past midnight till the next morning on the kitchen floor after a house party and uh, we talk about a lot of things. So this is this is the kind of like the little ray of hope at the end, hopefully. You've created an apocalyptic concept record about a night out, a doom night out that ends with an ultimate ray of sunshine at the end of the day. Nick, what are you doing with your life? 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 <laughs> what have you created? How have you even found the time to make this, man? This That sounds crazy. Yeah, man, it's been it's been the most amazing record to make. To be honest, we uh, we, we we built a studio in London like last year, and we made it all there. We have a whole host of people from the label that I run were coming to the studio, so we had like backing vocals from Kianja, the Dawn of May, from Rationale, from all these different people, from loads of the gospel singers who were on this reorchestrated tour that we did last year. Um, like this incredible saxophonist, uh, Ritipo. And just wanted to make an album that felt like a really diverse, like raucous night out. Um, it goes through a lot of different sounds. It's quite direct, kind of politically. And uh, yeah, we just wanted to make something that felt kind of modern and vital and interesting and very much like us. But, you know, it nods to the 90s. It nods to rave music. It's, you know, it's quite obvious where it lands politically, I think, as well. And um, yeah, I just wanted to make something that we were, we were excited about. That's amazing, man. I mean, to, to, to put yourself in a frame where you're, like you said, you know, you're on the nose politically and you're really addressing the things that we see, you know, in and around society and we read about and we hear about and we experience as people on this planet right now. You know, we never expect that from artists. We hope that music, you know, stands up and is willing to take the, take a shot at that. But we never, you can't expect people to do it each to their own. What gave you the courage to, to speak about that? Well, I think we did a lot on our last album. You know, we, we had a song on the last album that was a big kind of like F you to people like Farage and Trump and a lot of these politicians who are being very divisive. And, um, you know, I think I think maybe we just didn't talk about it as much as we should have, but the, the, it was it was there, it was in the music. The last record was about these big changes happening in the world, this lurch to the right that's kind of terrifying. And it was about figuring out how to deal with that in your head. And this album, you know, comes after a, a whole two years of touring that record. And this this was about escapism initially. It was about us wanting to escape. And, you know, it was kind of about shutting off temporarily because it's so important to engage with that stuff. But it's also important to live your life and try and not go mad, you know, worrying about it all the time and how we can 
digest news like constantly rolling in, rolling in. It's always so sort of intense and paranoid. And I think we wanted to make an escapist record, but that stuff can't can't help but leak in at times. You know, if you're a person that just lives in the world, you can't help but be aware of it all the time and it can seem overwhelming. So it's about trying to find the balance. It's about trying to find solace in people, in relationships, you know, be they good or bad. It's about trying to get offline, unplug, stay away from your phone for a minute because I'm I'm as guilty as anyone of being completely addicted to my phone. And it's, it's this amazing device, but it's also, you know, it's a window to all, those sh- all the bad stuff that's happening in the world and, and a lot of corners of the internet that are so negative. And like, I think um, we're lucky we get to be in a band, you know, we get to tour, we get to play gigs and gigs are such a, are such a collective experience. They're such a positive collective experience. And I think, you know, we, we get to see that kind of every night when we're on tour. But, you know, I guess this album is sort of wanting to, wanting to share that a little bit. And, and uh, we, we just wanted to be really honest with this record. I think there's so many... There's so many negative voices out there and there's so much sort of anxiety and confusion in life. We just wanted to make something that felt felt positive and, you know, it's still got, you know, it's a Bastille record, so it's still, it sounds euphoric. It's got it's the big melodies, it's got the big layers and everything else. But I mean, like you said, yeah. you know, your music has always walked that line between those things. You know, you've always been a very vulnerable writer, but you be, but you surround it with this, you know, this music, which which feels like it's got real purpose and real momentum to it. And and now you're going to have a whole new collection of songs. And, and as we wrap this up, man, June 14th, the album comes out. And I'd imagine following on from the orchestrated experience that you're looking forward to going out with the band and, and maybe taking some of those ideas and expanding what you guys do live as a band, as a core band, bringing some new vocalists in, some new ideas. I'm just making this up, you know? Yeah, no, no, but that's very much the plan. You know, we're starting, we're starting in the UK with Glastonbury um, and a bunch of festivals. And uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're heading to the US later in the year and doing a, a big run, a big run of dates at the end of the summer. Um, yeah, and and uh, little club shows, little club nights. We're playing the album in full. I don't know, we just, we just yeah, we want to have fun with it, man. And like you said, bring a bit of the orchestrated stuff into into the uh, into the main thing. Anyway. Well, listen, if, I don't know when you're back out here in California. I'm going to be out in, in London probably sooner than you're going to be out here in LA unless you know different. Oh, um, but when I am, let's let's get some time and talk about this album. You know, I always love chopping it up with, about your music with you, man. I always find you really thoughtful, engaging conversationalist and I'm a fan, as you know, bro. Um, so it's good to see you, man. Good to catch up with you. You too, mate. The song is called Joy. The album Doom Days. You have a release date, June 14th. It was today's world record. The title track right now. Have a great evening. Where are you going? You're in the pub? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I am gonna go and go meet some mates. <laughs> You've got pub face on. That's you, why I know. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? No, I'm not surprised at all. 